morning of Vocal West, this is Iron of Oaken News, by students, for students. Today's topic is Jeff Greengoss. Mr. Greengoss and his lovely wife, Donna Greengoss, have been citizens of a Vocal West district for, for 36 years and has raised four kids who have been taught at Avoca schools. Mr. Greengoss is retiring after his 16th long year as a respected member of the Avoca West Board of Education. Mr. Greengoss is retiring after working many jobs. Mr. Greengoss is very known well for his amazing, quiet, and patient leadership. People who worked the board with him, however, also say that he's good at setting the record straight. I guess this means he could be honest with people in a good way that they felt good about. Mr. Greengoss's amazing time on the board was very interesting. Among his many contributions, he has worked on the finest committee and two different technology committees over the years. There is very hard challenges to overcome and great success. Mr. Greengoss has worked with three different superintendents here at Avoca, Dr. Sloan, Dr. Port, and Dr. Yauk. His time with us was amazing and we'll hate for him to go. Mr. Greengoss, what will you miss the most about your time on Avoca School Board? I will miss the most spending my Thursday nights and Monday nights sometimes working with the ad team, the board members, teachers, uh, all highly intelligent people which keeps my brain stimulated and keeps the wheels turning in my head so I'm going to have to find, I'm either going to have to start reading a lot of books or sit down in the audience on meetings. Now that he's retiring from school board, Mr. Greengoss is going to have a little more free time on his hands. Let's hear how he plans to spend his extra free time straight from him. With my free time on Thursday nights, I will go listen to even more music and go to more dance venues with my wife because I have to take her dancing at least two, three nights a week because she's got that uh, rhythm and we love to dance. That sounds like a lot of fun. And now we have to retire this topic like Mr. Greengoss is retiring from the school board this year. On to the next big thing. It's time for the game. Today's game is Guess That Song. We'll give you a bit of time for you to listen to the song. Okay, here it is. When I'm then you are right. Be sure you're going to miss Mr. Greengoss when he's gone. Well, that's all we have time for today. Have a great day, Voca West. Bye. Good morning, Voca West. This is I and Avoca News. By students, for students. Today's topic is going to be about Roseanne Ullman. Roseanne Ullman is a member of our school board. She is retiring this year. She and her husband, Kevin Morgan, have lived in the Avoca School District for since 1984. Mrs. Ms. Ullman went, up, went to Northwestern University and has a master's from the Middle School of Journalism. She has been writing and editing professionally for over 30 years. We have been fortunate to have her as a part of the school board for the past 12 years. Ms. Ullman helped figure out what the community wanted to know about the school and how to communicate with them. This helps her maintain high standards for us at Avoca West. 
We asked Ms. Ullman, Mrs. Ullman what she would miss about being on the board, the board at Avoca. There's so much I'll miss about the school board. Mostly the people, uh, both the administrators and all of the school board members I've worked with have been so wonderful. Collaborating together, uh, working toward a goal of continuous improvement for public education, and nothing's more rewarding than that to me, and I will miss it. She worked with the teachers in administration to figure out contracts that everyone could agree on. She helped when it was time to decide on a different way to teach language arts and she has made sure we have a healthy, good feed fuel to fuel our bodies at lunch. And now, let's hear what Mrs. Ullman plans to do with her free time after she retires from the board. I never worry about filling in time. I always have so many projects, both personal and professional, on my list and never enough time to do them. So I, I will find a way to fill in the time and I'll probably travel more. Um, maybe I'll see my grandchildren a little more in Boston, and it will be nice not to uh, have to worry about when the school board meetings are. The schedule will be a lot freer. I'll be able to go to my senior Olympic events and compete in running and throwing a javelin and not have to worry about being home on Thursday nights. But when I am home on Thursday nights, I'll watch Grey's Anatomy, and then I won't have to tape it. Miss Ullman is retiring. And while we think she has big grammatical shoes to fill, we wish her a lot of fun with her grandchild. As we thank Mrs. Roseanne Ullman for her years of service, we also want to wish a belated happy birthday to Mr. Webster, whose birthday was yesterday. We'd also like to wish a happy birthday to Mrs. Eltonall, who is celebrating her day today. Best wishes to you both. Another headline is that tonight is the choir concert, which starts at 6 o'clock. We wish our, sing our amazing singers all the best. And now on today's game. One thing that is important to Mrs. Ullman is good grammar. In honor of this, our game today is, is rhymes with grammar. You have 10 seconds to come up with, with as many words as you can that rhyme with grammar. Ready? Go! <laughs> And time's up. How do you do? Here's what we came up with. Hammer, glamour, spammer, jammer, t stammer, enamor, programmer, and for those who you, of you who remember the 1994 Norway Olympics, Lily Hammer. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you, Mrs. Ullman. Have a great day, Book West Vale. Good morning, Book West. This is Iron of Oka News. By students for students. Today's topic is going to be about another very important person who is retiring from the VOCA School Board. His name is William Bazianos. Mr. Bazianos and his wife have been residents of the school district for 14 years. They have two kids, both of whom have graduated from Avoca. Wow, that's awesome. Actually, their older son, Stefan, started college just this year. Mr. Bazianos joined the school board in 2009 and has served for the past eight years. His goals for joining the board was to maximize the unique potential of each student, spend district money responsibly while paying for high quality teaching materials, and improving our technology. He was the co-chair for the board's finance committee and served twice on the negotiation committee. While serving on our school board, Mr. Bazianos has worked as an attorney, focusing on in business law. One part of his work has focused on mergers and acquisitions. Mergers is combining two things, such as companies, into one big thing. Acquisitions, on the other hand, is when you take ownership of something. Mergers and acquisitions are related, but slightly different. He also is involved with commercial real estate, which is when companies buy property. They do this when they are moving or expanding and need bigger, a bigger space for their business. But he's not always working. In his downtime, Mr. Bazianos is a big hockey fan. His younger son, Harrison, plays, and watching him play is one of Mr. Baziano's favorite things to do. 
And one of our favorite things to do is play a game. Today's game is Guess That Sport. The rules are simple. We give you three clues. You'll have five seconds to think and answer. Here we go. Clue one. This sport has an indoor competitions. Clue two. People can compete in this sport by themselves or as part of a relay. Clue three. One way of doing this sport is named the butterfly. If you guess swimming, then you are correct. Swimming has strokes, such as freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. You can, be on a sw you can be on a swim team and go to meets, although some people just like to swim for fun. Competitive swimming requires you to be fast. If you're on a swim team, you have to develop stamina so you can go very far a distance without running out of energy. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Have, have a great, great day, day of Oak West. Bye! Bye.